welcome to the project demonstration of uh, plant disease detection robots by using ESP32 and SMS alerts. So in this project, we are detecting the plant disease detect related information two parameters. One is plant height, whether the plant was grown properly or not. And the next is if the water content was high or not. If the water content is high, that will be identified by this soil moisture sensor. And if the plant was grown properly or not, that will be identified by this two IR sensors. When the plant was not grown properly, only this IR sensor will trigger the Unoboard and this won't trigger the Unoboard. Then the system will on the buzzer first step and the next step is it will send the message alert to the registered phone number by using this GSM module. And also if the water content is high, then same buzzer will get switched on and the system will send the message alert to the registered phone number. And the next thing is we can control this robot movement by using the ESP32 camera means we can see the visuals and also from the browser we can control the robot movement in four directions forward backward left right so the whole system getting power supply from this 12 volt 2 amp battery pack which is rechargeable battery so we need to keep the battery under full charge before demonstrating that so it will take at least of 8 to 12 hours maximum and if you forgot to switch off that also don't worry about that this charging circuit will block the current flow from the charger to the battery when it is fully charged and it can protect from the overcharging of this battery pack so coming to this battery pack there we can see the six four volt one amp batteries are in c connected here in that three are in series and three are in series and these two packs are in parallel so we will get 12 volt 2 amp dc output so that is the main source to the motors and the whole input and output models in our project so here we are using one more model is lm2596 so it will take 12 volts dc input and provide as the 5 volts dc output as the operating voltage of our sensors and the remaining uno board gsa model and esp32 camera is a 5 volt but the 12 volts is the operating voltage for the dc motors so that was directly given as input to the motors through this l293d motor driver and the 5 volt which is coming out from this lm2596 regulator is input to this breadboard and from there we are distributing that to the input and output modules so in our project input modules are two ir sensors and moisture sensor and output modules are buzzer gsa module and the camera is the input output motor controlling system so before demonstration the first step is we need to insert a valid sim card so like i shown in this video it should be notch should be this side and lock the sim card now on the power supply okay wait till the gsm modem got the signal so there we can see the light blinks fast when it is blinks slow that is indication of it got the signal if it is restart we need to check the sim card position wait right so now we insert the sim card properly now on the power supply wait till this particular yellow light blinks slowly then only provide the input to the sensors right actually uh, before on the cage we need to on the hotspot also i forgot to tell you about that right so on the hotspot with the name of plant project and the password should be one two three four five six seven eight nine and the band should be 2.4 gigahertz plant project all a small letters without any space without any capital letter right so after you on that automatically you can see one device connected and also install one application that is network analyzer application from the play store so this is the icon available in the play store directly install that now do land scan there you get the two ip address one is our mobile phone another is the ip address of our esp32 camera directly open that there we can see the visuals directly and controlling also so meanwhile let us see the demonstration with the sms section then we will show you the controlling section so as we discussed on the hotspots network analyzer application open that and insert a wireless sim card then on the kit wait till this light blinks slowly now it is blinking slowly right so now as we discussed if is there any like a uh, plant was detected while it is moving so only like uh, the plant height was detected by only one IR sensor and the second IR sensor is not providing the input as the height issue of the plant disease is not grown properly then the system is sending the message alerts so we got the message alerts so alerts plant not grown okay and coming to the water so when the moisture content is more 
then also the system will provide the message alerts right so when the robot is moving if the water content is more that will be identified by this soil moisture sensor same on the buzzer and it's sending the message alerts to the registered phone number we got the messages water level is high so now let us see the robot controlling also so when you hold that button then it move when you release the button it stops like that so let us see the demonstration on the floor let us see that and headlight also headlight on headlight off okay so in this manner we can control the robot for predicting the plant diseases right so main thing is we should keep the battery under full charge